I have these videos from intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about a Spring MVC tutorial. The next question that we are going to discuss is what are the benefits of Spring MVC? In the playlist, we are going to talk about second question what are the benefits of Spring MVC? The first benefit is changes to business logic are less likely to break presentation logic and vice versa. So if you are working on business logic, you don't have to worry about whether it will break the presentation logic or not because completely is separated so you don't have to worry. Developers can focus on creating robust business code without having to worry about breaking the client code. So since there is a clear separation between model, view and controller, you don't have to worry that whether will, I, will my code will break the client or not or when you are developing the client you, you don't have to worry that whether I will break the service layer or not or controller or not Spring provides a very clean division about controllers Java bean models and views Spring is very flexible entirely based on interfaces so you know if you are if you're writing programming to an interfaces you it will be really flexible and any modification can be done easily and, and writing JM test cases for application which is which is written based on interfaces will be really good Spring MVC is truly view agnostic it will never force us to one technology JSP or something if you don't want JSP you can use velocity XSLT or any other technology that you are interested The last benefit of Spring MVC is more testable code. You can write a separate JUnits for controller service layers. Validation has no dependency on servlet API. So Spring MVC, since there is a clear division between each layer, it is very good. It is it's very easy to write in code. Hope these six points are useful. In the next video, we can see. 